Hello, I'm Barbara Shaw and I'm just about to start a new wildflower meadow. So this is the background I've chosen. It's a cotton batik fabric and it's easy to stitch into and all I've done is I've draped it over a piece of board on my easel. So I'm cutting up little pieces for a poppy. You can see this one has got a pattern on and it's quite silky. So I shall just cut up rough shapes for the petals. And pin them up. So it's just very random, as you can see. A little bit off the bottom there. And this is the way I start with just very rough shapes without thinking too much about the marks on them yet. Although I do try, if I'm doing a flower, I try and think which way would the petals be sitting. So this one, you can see it's got little lines on. So that obviously needs to be sitting upright, or if it's if it's going over, then um, I would obviously tilt it. I've got some of this red and black and green fabric, but I'll cut out little pieces of the petals. Just to go on the top to give it a bit of interest. Try another little piece. And the same fabric again. can see how I'm building up the layers and I've added another cornflower and this pattern on the blue and white fabric is the C but it does just as well as a flower and I always look at the back of the fabric too just to see the difference and what else it could be used so for example this little bit of white which has got just a few blue markings in it will go in my daisy up here. I'll just trim off a little bit more of the side. But you start to add a bit of depth to, the, to whatever you're creating by using all the different bits of fabric. Put another bit. And a little bit of this one. And fraying the edges, which gives a softness to the picture. And this is a bit of sparkly fabric. the edges, pop that on, by having a bit of blue up there it will tie the composition together just as an echo but what I'll probably do is add something over the top of that like a piece of chiffon, that one's too grey. Here you can see how far I progressed with the wildflower meadow and I've added some lacy bits and continued to develop all the flowers 
and it's still pinned so next I shall stitch it using running stitches with a grey thread so that's my first sketch <laughs> 